Today I will make sense of an experience, satire, and show film called Looking for a Companion for the Apocalypse. Spoilers ahead. Keep an eye out and fare thee well. Coming back home, Evade and his significant other, Linda, pay attention to a radio station illuminating everybody that the final desperate attempt to save mankind has fizzled. Tragically, the 70 broad space rock called Matilda is set to slam into Earth in precisely three weeks. Notwithstanding the unfortunate news, Evade attempts to keep quiet and simply calls attention to that they missed their exit. Along these lines, Linda takes a gander at Evade in dismay, prior to taking off without a solitary word, leaving him for good. With 21 days left until the space rock hits, Evade's life go on without a solitary blip in his routine, since individuals respond diversely to misfortune. Certain individuals even began offering death administrations for the people who would rather not hang tight for the apocalypse. While he's at the exercise center, Evade watches a news update that cell administrations are dead, while power and water are destined to be turned down too. In any case, Evade still drives back to work in spite of traffic turning out to be more regrettable than expected. At work, Evade, who's a protection sales rep, goes to a gathering where their organization is simply offering upper administration chief positions. Avoid and his collaborators all respond contrastingly to the circumstance. However, clearly they all vibe miserable. At the point when he gets back home to his apartment building, Evade really takes a look at his post box, however, sees it unfilled. Then, at that point, when he goes to his unit, he hears somebody vacuuming inside. Evade promptly expects it's Linda, however, it's simply their week after week cleaner, Elsa. She welcomes him with a grin, so he requests that she stay to stare at the television, yet she cordially rejects. In view of the present status of the world, Evade tells Elsa not to return one week from now, but rather she doesn't respond well to the terminating. Thus, Evade takes it back, feeling that Elsa may be unmindful of the space rock circumstance, or she simply doesn't have any desire to consider it. Elsa then leaves, yet lets him know that she'll be back the following week. In the wake of being let be, Evade observes more updates and sees that aircrafts are at this point not in help, and the last flight has taken off. The following day, Evade goes to work with insect chomps all over. Then, at that point, a man leaps to his demise and terrains on Evade's vehicle, leaving him panicked. With 14 days left, Evade shows up at a party tossed by his companion, Warren, and his better half, Diane. At the point when Diane welcomes him at the entryway, she promptly remarks about Linda, taking note of how she never looked content with him. Tragically, that is something that Avoid won't ever take note. Since Avoid is currently single, Diane plans to set him up with her companion. However, he isn't excessively attached to the thought. Then again, Warren simply offers him a profoundly selective stogie, which he acknowledges. Diane lets her better half know that Evade needs to meet someone or, in all likelihood, he'll kick the bucket alone. However, Warren dissents, saying that, a void won't bite the dust alone in light of the fact that he will pass on with the remainder of the world. In any case, Diane acquaints him with Karen, who is looking sharp since she needs to wear the garments she hasn't worn at this point. During supper, everybody shares their arrangements for their leftover days, and Karen communicates the amount she prefers a void. Soon thereafter, the party develops more stunning to the point that Warren even desires the children to drink liqueur. Then again, Karen is as yet attempting to get with Avadi, who's overlooking her advances. All things considered, he converses with another companion, Roash, who informs him concerning every one of his adventures with various ladies since the declaration of the apocalypse. He even requests that Evade play around with him and Karen, yet Avoid isn't into something like that. Then, at that point, when his companions begin doing hard medications, Evade decides to conceal in the restroom. Minutes after the fact, Diane comes to investigate Avoid. Then, causing Dodge a deep sense of shock, Diane begins to kiss him. Thus, he rapidly drives her away, directing out that she's hitched toward his companion. In any case, Diane deviates, saying that no one has a place with anybody any longer. Evade winds up returning home ahead of schedule to think back about his previous lifestyle. He takes a gander at an image of him and his secondary school darling, Olivia, and begins to play the harmonica. Then, at that point, out of nowhere, he sees a lady crying by the emergency exit. At the point when Avoid determines the status of her, she promptly begins hollering in his arms, in spite of not 
knowing him. Incidentally, the lady, Penny, is Evade's first floor neighbor. Beside, as of late parting ways with her beau, she additionally failed to catch her plane and presently has no method for getting back home. Evade welcomes her in, so they acquaint themselves with one another. Do you want to see part two of this video? Subscribe to the channel and comment part two. Thanks for watching. I would see you at part two.